Okay, we're back. We're still here at the Mariposa military base. And uh, last time, Lily finally recovered most of her equipment. Not all of it. And uh, I think now we're just trying to actually make our way out to escape. <laughs> I think it was by a miracle that uh, Ian survived. Just noticing that she's uh, a little bit injured. But uh, I think what we're interested in is this elevator. Because the uh, other elevator went down to the fourth floor. We're hoping this one will actually go up. But we're not sure how these force field doors work. So here's a damaged emitter field and a force field. You notice that the field is damaged enough to walk through. Oh, okay. Hit for no damage. Alright, hit for seven points. Alright. Okay, this is what we're looking for. First floor, then. <laughs> so we want to escape at this point, even though... Man. Alright. Looks like three robots. Even though we're probably going to have to come back to uh, initiate that self-destruct sequence, but I think... I'm just curious if uh, she can't get away with simply killing the master who we think is at the Cathedral of the Children. Well, I think we have yeah, EMP grenades. It would be nice if they came in here, I think, through the force field. Missed. Let's see if it'll come in. <laughs> of course, Ian goes out and stands in the field. He's gonna get himself killed. Where's the other robot? <laughs> Alright, Ian was killed. Not so lucky after all. <laughs> he survives the, uh... Where's the other? Oh, there it is. The super mutants. Downstairs, but, uh, not these robots. Man. about a senseless death. Well, I'll also use these, I think. Right. Robo Brain. Wow, 102 points. Oh, no. Hopefully, uh... Ian's stuff is not buried under these robots. Assault rifle. Alright, here we are. Ian. <laughs> Taking the dynamite, crowbar, all this other stuff. Oh, that's already too much. There's his leather jacket. <laughs> Man, what are we carrying that so much? I thought we dropped that.
Alright. What's this? 10 millimeter. We don't need that. I don't know why we're carrying this flower around. <laughs> I think everything else we actually want. I don't understand why. Oh. There we go. Radio and motion sensor. Yeah, if you look at this map, this looks like the exit. And here's three dots. Wouldn't be surprised if it's more uh, robots, like these robo-brains. I think she's curious to look at that computer, too. Machine. Force field emitter, and if you notice, yeah, horribly damaged and non damaged. And we can't walk through these. Okay, that works. That was quick. Alright, she's able to tamper with the uh, force field. <laughs> I thought that was them coming out. Screen is showing odd color patterns. Monitor flickers. Cannot repair that. The monitor. You press some buttons, but the computer seems to be damaged. It will take some work to operate it. Sounds like a repair. To science. Cannot repair that. System seems to have locked up. Screen is showing odd color patterns. <laughs> Not getting much out of these. This is one that said uh, I could use work though. Take some work to operate it. Let's so click the wrong thing. Computer is not physically damaged, but instead seems to have corrupted data. Oh, there we go. Reprogramming complete. Initializing voice communication subsystems. Initializing personality subsystem. How may this terminal be of service? 